Okay, what we have here is another one of these. Uh, I got this from a forum member on a forum I belong to. Thank you, Karma. I'm sure some people probably recognize that. Anyway, uh, this is one dusty set. Oh my goodness, I've never seen so much dust on a set before. I don't know if all this is coming through. But, you know, it doesn't really mean anything. That's not necessarily a problem. I typically don't worry too much about dust, but since I'm going to need to recap a few parts on this board because it has a pin cushion issue, I'll probably end up just gently, that's the word, gently remove this dust. I have a technique that involves using a small, um, very soft brush, and you just knock the dust loose and vacuum it up. Don't use any high compressed air. You, know, you don't want to blow any wires off or screw things up. Remember, it's sort of like you don't want to do any harm, but I mean the dust on this thing is amazingly thick. Let's see if that comes off there. You see what, you see what I'm talking about. So, uh, in order to really evaluate it well to see what's going on, I really have to clean it up just a little bit. But, as you can see, it's just another one of those and oh, there's my report and uh, the idea is hmm, I don't remember that one being clear before maybe it was uh, I got this one because I had that one a friend of mine asked me to fix it I loved it so much I kind of I'm holding it hostage from me I'm not going to let him have it back but now that I got another one of these, I don't mind. So he can have his back now. I don't. I'm sorry about holding on for so long, John. You know how it is. <laughs> anyway, check this dust out. I mean, this is just this is just amazing. Look at that. Holy smokes. Anyway, it arrived uh, safely. Thank you. To the uh, forum member who sent it to me, I'll, I won't mention names because I don't know how people feel about having their names put out on the internet. But uh, it works fine. The only problem I had was a pin cushion issue, which uh, I, I have a pretty good idea of what the problem is. There's a capacitor. Uh, well, I have to unscrew this screw here. I think this screw here, this screw here, and this whole board will fold out. And the capacitor that's a problem somewhere right back in here. I, I've been down this before. I know what to do to look for it. So we'll do that. We'll clean it up. Make sure there's no uh, suspect looking um, caps. Need for you know, caps are clearly bulging or having some other kind of issues. I don't really expect it. This cap here I replaced on the other one. That's a uh, 0.47 at 500 volt electrolytic cap. That's a little scary to me. I'll probably put a 0 .47 film cap in there just like I did on the other one just because I don't I don't trust that. I hate this. I don't know what that does but it's a mighty large cap and I don't want to see a problem. I think it might be some kind of filter cap for uh... It can't be for the folks. I can't remember what it was for. Anyway. More later. You can get a picture of the front here and the lights you can see a little bit better. There it is. When I get it all cleaned up and uh, get ready to replace those caps, I'll do more. But it, the picture is working fine just for the uh, the oddball pin cushioning. And I don't think it's correctable because it was actually pin cushioned weird. It kind of came up and out as opposed to just a regular uh, symmetric pin cushion. The normal symmetric pin cushion adjustment, you'd have a bow in like that. But this one's more like up and then bowing out, which tells me that that cap is failing. The uh, the real test is can the, does the pin cushion adjustment correct it? If it doesn't, then clearly the cap is bad. But more later. Okay, the pin cushion was indeed not working. I adjusted it, and the pin cushion pot, which would be this one right here, was doing absolutely nothing. And what happens essentially is there's a vertical pulse that comes through the pin cushion pot, coupled through this cap 521 goes into this transistor which controls the current flow through the horizontal circuit. So you see this right here, this sine wave at the vertical rate. That would be adjusting the uh, the scan, uh, the scanning energy in the horizontal as it 
is it migrates up and down through the top and bottom of the uh, vertical rate. So you want it to basically have more uh, scanning in the middle of the picture and less scanning at the top of the picture horizontally to make pincushion work. Anyway, I suspect 521 is the problem since that's what's coupling the uh, that signal through. So 521 is right can't see it very clearly but it's right in this area here. Let me see if I can point to it. It's basically right here. Can you see my screwdriver there? That little cap there that you can't really see the reading on, but that's 521, uh, which over here on this side is that purple cap. Right there, it's 521. So we're going to pull that out, check it. I suspect it's, uh, it's open. The pin cushion adjustment did absolutely nothing to it at all. That's a dead giveaway that that cap's faulty. I mean, the the pincushion pot, which is right here, had no effect whatsoever on adjusting out the pincushion. So I'm going to use my solder sucker, pull that cap out, and replace it, and we'll give it another go. More later. Well, I don't really have to check this to know this is bad. When you see uh, mung and goo like that pouring out of the bottom, it's not a good sign. One thing I have to remember, the minus is on the bottom. I don't know if it's clearly indicated on here. I guess it is. I can barely read that cap sign, but remember that day, minus is on the bottom. It came out like that. But you can see all that nastiness. Let's see what it's rated at. That's uh, 4.7 on 100 volts. I'll test it on my old school cap tester just to see, but I have a, sus I have a suspicion this is things wide open. I'll bring up the cap tester and, and check it out. All right, here we have it hooked up to the eye tester, and and let's try for get a null reading. Nope. It should be. I got I got on the point one to fifty. It should be right around here. It should be nulling. This is the fifty range out here. Another way to tell is if you put it to leakage, and that's instantaneous. That's clearly not good. I don't, of course, I don't have a good uh, I don't happen to have a good 4.5 to use so just for comparison purposes I'll use this 10 just to show that this thing's working properly let me go ahead and hook up this 10 UF I, I won't use this, I have to for some reason I can't, I don't have any 4 UFs unfortunately so we'll just try, but this is the way it should work, first of all let's do the uh, the leakage test See how I should open up slowly, not flash. And we put back here, well, I got it on 4. Since this is a 10, I'm expecting the eye to open the null right around there. So let's, there, there you go. So that's how it's supposed to work. So clearly, this is bad. And I don't have a 4.7. I can't believe it, but I don't. I'm going to scrounge around see if I can find one, but I might have to put this off till I get one. I don't know if I want to use a 10. I probably could get away with it. I mean these electrolytics are, um, you know, have a very high tolerance, but I don't know. I don't really like starting off putting the wrong parts in. I, it's not that big a deal. I'm not in that big of a hurry. So anyway, I need to get a uh, new cap. I'm pretty sure I'll take care of that pin cushion issue. I may end up just go through and replace, you know, all the caps on that board, although I typically don't do that. I mean, if it works, I don't I don't really feel the need to go out and replace stuff just to replace stuff. Uh, I might take a look, close look at these. I don't know what brand this is. Maybe that's part of the thing I should be checking on. The other, This is definitely a different brand than what was in the other ones. They had a bunch of black caps and they have this purple cap, and the purple cap happened to be the bad one. I don't know if that means anything. But, uh, yeah. That'll get replaced. I may may even have those at Radio Shack. I don't know. We'll see.